Hi, I'm Dan from the Penrose Solar Center, and today we're diving into the beautiful world of converting sunshine into usable power for your home. That is the role of the Enphase Micro Inverter. In this video, you will learn the role of the inverter in your solar system, who Enphase Micro Inverters are a good fit for, when's the best time to invest in an Enphase Micro Inverter system, why would you need Enphase Micro Inverters if you don't have shade, and finally the cost and how to get Enphase Microinverters on your home. Let's get started. What is the job of the inverter? The role of the inverter in a solar system is to convert the DC energy, which is produced by the solar panels, to AC energy, which is the usable energy inside of our homes and businesses. Traditionally, the inverter, which has always been called a string inverter, has been a central one-stop point to convert all of your DC at once to AC and enable your home to use AC energy. The modern day inverter is called the micro inverter. And essentially what we have done is decentralized the main inverter to having one inverter under every single panel. Each inverter does the job of converting DC to AC energy. Now that we know the difference between an old school centralized string inverter and the more modern decentralized end phase micro inverters, I must tell you that this video is about the only inverter that we recommend and sell, the end phase micro inverter. So who is this product a good fit for? Well, anyone with a roof and a power bill. For years and years, electricians have actually been scared of installing microinverters, fearful of the technology and the advancements that come with a system like this. No longer can an inverter be slapped on the wall, turn it on and off we go. The market around renewables has changed and it's changed for the better. Consumers now are after safer, smarter and more reliable solar systems. Enter the Enphase Microinverter. Anyone who prioritizes safety, smarts, reliability, and likes to future-proof their options is a great fit for Enphase Microinverters. People that aren't a great fit for Enphase are people who like to roll the dice on a little bit of risk. Maybe people who always take the more cost-effective route or people who simply don't value technology advancements and monitoring of their home's energy usage in the palm of their hands. When should I buy Enphase Microinverters? Well, the fact that you're joining me here today watching this video tells me that you're in the market for solar already. The best time to buy Enphase Microinverters is certainly the first time. I've never actually met anyone who's bought a solar system in the past with a string inverter and actually bought one again. Those are usually the type of customers that come back and will buy Enphase the second time round. Fortunately, we have a bit more education around the solar space now and you don't have to make the mistake that hundreds of people, even thousands of people have made in the past. So buying Enphase micro inverters, the right time to do it is now. The reason that the right time is now is because Enphase is a truly expandable modular system. So if you're going to tell me that you would be better off buying a string system because it's cheaper, I would challenge you to spend the same money that you would on your string system on an Enphase system and expand it in the future. This will give you greater warranty periods and overall more energy out of your usable roof space. Not to mention the great battery storage options that are available to bolt on to any Enphase system, such as the Enphase battery and the Tesla Powerwall 2. Why do I actually need Enphase microinverters? Well, for starters, when you're buying solar, you need an inverter regardless. So whether you buy solar with a string inverter or you choose Enphase microinverters, you are going to end up with an inverter of some type on your home. You'll need Enphase microinverters as a non-negotiable if your roof has excess shade. Enphase is truly the world's best shading solution. And that is of course because every panel operates independently of the next. The other reason why Enphase will be compulsory for you is if your panels are split across multiple roof faces. Enphase has the ability to have any amount of panels on any different type of roof face. So if your design is challenging, then Enphase is an absolute must. Some other reasons that don't make Enphase compulsory, but are a good argument for Enphase, is if you value the safety of your home and your family. 
You see, with a string inverter, you'll have up to 600 volts of DC coming down the roof space of your home, through the walls of your home, past potentially bedrooms and living rooms, and into your inverter down on the ground, which will then be converted, of course, to AC. Now, 600 volts of DC is a lot of DC. In fact, I'd encourage you to look on YouTube as to what a 600 volt DC arc actually looks like. It's a pretty scary and confronting thing to look up. With end phase, the DC on your roof is converted straight away to AC energy, which means the maximum DC will only be about 50 volts on your roof and at panel level. So if you're someone who really values safety, then end phase is certainly for you. Another reason why you'll find end phase to be one of the greatest things you've ever bought in your life is if you are obsessed with data. And let me tell you, everyone who buys solar does become obsessed with their energy consumption patterns in their home. Every Enphase system that we install at Penrith Solar Center includes consumption monitoring. Now that's something not to be taken for granted and something that every string inverter can't actually have. With Enphase, it's included as standard, so you won't need to pay any extra subscription fees or you won't need any additional electrical work to have consumption monitoring included. But that's not actually the most powerful part of the Enphase Enlighten app. The most powerful part is that you can see panel level data. And what I mean by this is you'll be able to see a picture of your roof, how the panels are laid out, and exactly what every single panel is producing at all times. It's a fantastic tool to keep your panels accountable for the output that they're producing every single day. It's also one of the only tools that'll allow you to lodge a warranty claim if you have anything go wrong with your panels in the future. How much does this product cost? Well, at Penrith Solar Center, you'll get yourself a five kilowatt system for around $2 per watt. So that would be around $10,000 to $11,000 out of pocket expense. A 10 kilowatt system at Penrith Solar is usually around $1.30 to $1.50 per watt. I'm very comfortable to say that around 95% of our clients will buy a 10 kilowatt system off us for less than $14,000. And if you're looking at something a little bigger, around 16 to 17 kilowatts, you are going to be close to around $1.10 per watt. So 16 kilowatts, you're looking around $17,500. The bigger the system gets, the dramatically better value for money the system becomes. And at Penrith Solar Center, our average system is about 11.8 kilowatts and very, very quickly approaching 12 kilowatts. We are finding more and more people wanting to put more solar on their roof to take advantage of our great scale of economy and purchasing power when installing Enphase microinverters. So how do I actually get Enphase microinverters on my roof? Well, you're in the perfect spot. All you need to do is fill out our Contact Us Now form. What we'll do is we'll be in touch with you. We'll do an energy assessment on your bills and of course an assessment on your home to make sure that it is fit for purpose for us to install Enphase microinverters. The form below will ask for some simple details like your contact details and your address. Then you'll be asked to supply us with a copy of your power bill and one of our team is going to reach out and be able to bring your energy dreams to life. Again, I am Jake from the Penrith Solar Center. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you've learned a little bit more about Enphase microinverters. We're looking forward to talking to you soon.